Hi there, I'm David R. Lewis. Welcome to Theater of the Mind. In this selection from Situational Flexibility, Crockett is reunited with Stitch, the old helicopter pilot from Grave Promise. Because Crockett had asked for his help, Stitch has just hitchhiked from California to Chicago. Crockett found Stitch sitting in the waiting area of a Perkins restaurant beside an overstuffed duffel bag. Gone was the greasy boony suit and the sweaty headband. Stitch was wearing new blue jeans, a faded chambray shirt, and a black ball cap. His beard was trimmed, his long hair neatly pulled back into a ponytail, and his jump boots looked almost pristine. When Stitch saw Crockett, he got to his feet. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful, man. Stitch! You are beautiful. Thanks for coming. What did you do? Leave your evil twin behind? Uh, I just figured that if I was going off of my own turf, I'd better clean up a little. You know, try to get my shit together. Crockett couldn't stop grinning. Stitch looked so different. Did you get coffee? Uh, no, man. They want a buck and a half for it here. I only got 96 cents. When did you eat last? Uh, yesterday afternoon, I guess, just before that trucker picked me up in Tulsa. Wow, he was a trip, man. Cat ate enough speed to wake up Jimi Hendrix. Rocket reached in his pocket, took out a fold of bills, and handed it over. Stitch rifled through the wad. Wow, man, there's almost 400 bucks here. Uh, it's expense money, Stitch. It's yours. Well, thanks, Crockett, but I ain't got no expenses, man. Sure you do. I do? Yeah. You gotta buy me lunch. I'm broke. Ah, uh, okay, dude, but only the special drink water and I ain't springing for no freaking dessert. If you'd cut off that ponytail and get a job, you wouldn't have to freeload off of people like me. Ha! Crockett explained a little of the situation to him over coffee and Stitch's second piece of pot. After he finished, Stitch removed a bottle of pills from his pocket, took two, and smiled. Take him my shit, Crockett. Two pops twice a day like a good boy. I'm proud of you. Yeah, man, me too. Reality's a trip, you know? Stitch paid the check, almost $50, and they crossed the parking lot to the H2. Whoa, Stitch said. Where's the rest of the platoon? I've been in APC smaller than this. No, I want to impress the rednecks, Crockett said. Far out. One look at this and they'll drop their bud long necks. I got the helo you wanted, too. No shit. No shit. It'll be here tomorrow or the next day. A Bell 430, black. Oh, wow. Where'd you get it? The ladies that's financing this whole thing already had one. She, like, owns it? She owns three helicopters. Oh, man, that is some heavy coinage, dude. What's a society chick like that going to think of my ass? Well, that's up to you, I guess. Oh, wow, man. Like bummer, you know? Situational Flexibility is available as an ebook on Amazon, Smashwords, and several other outlets. I'm David R. Lewis. Thanks for dropping by Theater of the Mind. Sorry about the mess in the parking lot. We're getting it resurfaced. <laughs>